Okay, we got here a beautiful sink center. Let's have a look. Unboxing. And have a look on the inside. This is the what's the model? M720S. M720S. Let's have a look. Get the standard the normal keyboard mouse and the power. Cool. So, <clears throat> four USBs, two display, one network, serial port, it's for corporate network, you gotta have that nowadays, VGA, audio, DVD, four USBs in the front, Type-C, this phone microphone, pretty much all standard. So let's have a look on the inside. Core i5, ninth generation. This one has a 512 gigabyte SSD. That's the front plate coming off. There we go. There's a nice view on the inside. So that's our SSD. It's good they've put a massive heat sink. Heat is what kills these devices. Uh, we got our two RAMs and what is it? This is a That's a chipset power In terms of upgrade options, you can put low profile graphic card to PCI Express and another one there they neglected That's fine Lots of MOSFETs and whatnot. Um, pretty simple setup. There we go. Hopefully, this will help you fix or whatever you're doing on this job. In my case, oh, by the way, you can put a, um, a traditional 3.5 inch. That's the bag there. It comes off. We can put a 2.5 inch there. And I'm not going to. So what I'm going to do is, in my case, I'm going to close another hard drive onto this and this button here indicates the case has been opened if you're in the corporate network you'll know all about them Use uh, display port, so I'll get an adapter. Display port to HDMI. We're going to BIOS, have a quick look there. A keyboard. Okay, I'll plug it in. You should see the screen change. Oh, there's no power. Okay, power, power, power. All right.
Hmm, no signals yet, which is unusual. Oh, there we go. Okay, I've missed the opportunity to go into BIOS. This is interesting, I haven't seen this behavior before. System shutting down like this. Um, troubleshoot, advanced, and UEFI settings. I'm gonna go into BIOS, make some changes. All right, we're in the BIOS, yeah. M7720S, seven, seven, yes. okay, yep. Latest BIOS, I think, maybe. Let's have a look. Um, I need to change the boot sequence. I want to enable CSM boot for my needs. Okay, let's have a look. Security, secure boot. Disable primary boot. Okay, I want CSM to be enabled. Okay, F10. Uh, plug in my USB. Uh, let's see if I can press F12. nice beautiful that's about it for this video that's how you can enable csm boot and also disable secure boot and whatnot uh, thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching please subscribe to support this channel